Okay, on this video, it's how do you change a hose that gets blown off of your final drive and how do we go in and about change that on this particular cat machines. Uh, it's gonna be the same whether it's a 279, a 259, 249, 289, 299. So cats are all the same for these tracks. It just varies between the size of the machines. So this is what we got. Pretend that this machine has tracks on it. I'm actually changing the tracks and in so doing uh, this track tore out and in so doing I've got uh, some hoses that are rubbed through now I've replaced this hose right here and where they like to rub is right here on that bracket or the the cover mount they, they rub through all the time and you'll blow and when you lose a hose it can cause damage to your final drive if oils ran out or even your piston pump your hydraulic pump if it gets starved for oil so pretend that this has a track on it okay so what I can do is I can come in and I can actually wrap this right here around the track itself, okay? And I'm going to jack this machine or whatever side the hose is blown on up off the side. Now I can put a block here and here and just tilt it off one side. That's usually the fastest. Okay, and there's two pins. There's a pin here and a track pin right here. And they're torsion axles that run through there. And that's where the whole track frame is held on by. Okay, and so what uh, on the 259s, they're right behind the sprocket on the 259 skid steers. Everything else, I believe, is running off of the main track frame. It's a big pin. The 259 will be a ball and socket style joint pin mount. You'll see it behind your sprocket. But as of this one, it's here and here. Okay. It'll look like this. You'll have grease cirques on one end and two bolts. So as you take those off, I use a half inch impact, and as I take them off, and and uh, you're gonna take their little caps that come off to expose the pin. Same with right here, as you take those off to access your hoses, because you won't be able to with the track on there. Now again, you can leave the track on. That's what I do. And you can actually take, like I have, and you slide the track frame off a little bit so it doesn't come all the way out but what it does is it stretches them hoses out to where you can get in here and work on it even if this has a track I can still access all this and then you just take the cover there's two bolts right here and it's got a little lip you undo those two covers that have two bolts you just pull that lip open and clean all that out okay the next step is the cab. Well, how do I raise the cab? It's really easy. There's only two bolts right here. They're 15 sixteenths. There's one bolt here that holds that side down. You undo it and you come over on this one. Now this is the D style. Anything a little older, the C will have this style as well. But the B's and any of the other 279 B's will not have this. They'll be inside the cab and the corners. But these ones are external. And so there's just those two bolts and you got a gas ram right here that it's, it's very assist, very easily lift. You get in front of it and you lift it right up. Okay. And there is a lock latch right here, a safety latch. So that when you climb down in here, make sure that that gets latched so it doesn't crush you if you're down here and something happens. Okay, so wear safety glasses. You should do this if you're working with anytime you're working with high pressure hydraulic hoses or high hydraulic hoses in general. Wear safety glasses. Okay, so you can see it happened to be the top hose here. So I just unscrewed that there and left it here. I have easy access inside now. And as I climb down in there, you can climb right in here. And I've got a plug in it right now, but it's actually that hose right there. Okay, and while you're in here, you can see these long sweeps. Sometimes what happens is they also rub right here. So you need to check all those. You have two speed sensors that run to each individual final drive. And you need to check those as well. Okay, you want to keep them zip tied up out of the way, out of the mud. You can see that this accumulates dirt. And that's not necessary, but if you have time, take and clean all this out. Probably once a year to maintain your machine. Uh, you get a lot more life out of your uh, wiring harnesses and your hoses and not rubbing on mud. Um, 
So as you see, this right here is rubbed through the steel. And this is not a hydraulic hose. This is actually your speed sensor. So if I wiggle that, you can see that they ran it in there to protect the wiring harness. Okay. So I'm going to go get some wrap and I'll wrap all this up. Now, when you replace your hoses, inspect all of them while you're at this point. Um, again, you do not need the track off to do this at all. It's actually a pretty easy procedure. It takes me out in the field. Uh, by the time, the thing that takes me the longest in the field is to actually run and go grab the hose rebuild, get the hose rebuilt, than it is to actually tear everything apart and install it back together. It takes longer sitting there waiting for them at the counter. So then, as it goes back on, you get your hose all put on and you'll slide your track frame back on. Um, I advise you highly to use red Loctite. Yes, red Loctite. And do not over torque these. I usually hit them with a half inch. You just want them snug, but you don't want to keep going because they will shear off in that pin. I've had that happen. So I don't know the actual torque spec for that, but you want them tight so they don't come loose. And use a Loctite. Use a, use a, I use red Loctite. I use this stuff really this high strength. I, I love it. In fact, you use it, make sure you clean off the grease on this, these caps. And install it back you got two caps on each side and you'll be good and that's pretty much how you change a hydraulic final drive hose on these cat machines anyone with these cat skid steers uh, will know exactly what I'm talking about they usually go for about three years before you lose one um, and cat does not cover this at all that's considered a wear item on your uh, warranty so if you lose a hose or any tracks are not covered on your warranty. Some tracks are depending on how many hours are on them. But you will lose track hoses at about the 2,000 uh, hour mark um, or three years if you're running them every day. Uh, so just something simple. Well, not really simple, but something that uh, that's how I've learned is slide that frame off, undo your two bolts. Your two caps for your pins slide that frame out just use a crane or a mini x or whatever you have to slide that out you don't want it to fall off now the 259s the back end will fall off uh, it's okay that that pin will be smaller than these 279s it will back end will drop on the ground that's okay don't get in a panic it'll be easy just slide it on this pin and you'll have to use a crane or something lift it back on and again i hook everything right in front of this it count it balances really well on this track frame to hook right behind or right in front of the final drive sprocket okay so if you've got a track laid on here i wrap right around the track and just lift it up and when i get the pressure off i just slide it out with using some crowbars or my hands and uh, that's it that's how you change a hydraulic hose running to your final drives on these cat skid steers